Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the shrinkage limit of a soil using the phase diagram of the soil. So first what is a shrinkage limit? Shrinkage limit is defined as the water content at which the soil changes from a semi-solid state to a solid state. This is also the water content after which the uh, volume of the soil mass remains constant with further drying of the material. Shrinkage limit test gives us an indication of how much moisture can change before any significant volume change and to also indication of change in the volume. This shrinkage limit is useful in areas where soil mass undergoes large volume changes when going through wet and dry cycles such as the earth traps. You can see that I have been given the results of the shrinkage limit test on a soil. So this question states that an undisturbed soil sample of clay brought from the field was noted to have a volume of 20 uh, cubic centimeters and a weight of 32.8 grams. And on own drying, the weight of the sample was reduced to 22.5 grams and the volume of the dried sample as obtained from the displacement of mercury was 14.5 cubic centimeters. We have to find the shrinkage limit and the specific gravity of solids and also we have to find the shrinkage ratio. We will uh, solve this question by two methods. First is by using the direct formulas and second is by using the phase diagram of the soil. So weight of saturated sample, this is W1, this is equal to 32.8 gram. Volume of saturated sample, this is V1 and this is equal to 20 uh, cubic centimeters. Weight of dry sample, this is equal to WS, this is 22.5 grams. And volume of dry sample, this is V2, this is equal to 14.5 cubic centimeters. Shrinkage limit of soil, this is given by the direct formula as WS, this is equal to W1 minus WS minus V1 minus V2 into gamma W divided by WS into 100. Okay, so W1, this is 32.8, WS, this is 22.5, V1 is 20, V2 is 14.5. Gamma W is the unit weight of water okay in grams uh, per centimeter cube so which is equal to one and ws is 22.5 so this gives me the value of shrinkage limit of this soil as 21.33 percent after finding the shrinkage limit specific gravity of solids this is given as uh, ws which is the weight of the dried sample divided by v1 into gamma w minus w1 plus ws Putting values, so GS will be equal 22.5 divided by 20 into 1 minus 32.8 plus 22.5, which is equal to 2.32 is the specific gravity of the solids. Shrinkage ratio, this is given as the okay dry unit weight divided by the unit weight of water. So dry unit weight, this will be uh, this will be equal to ws divided by this v2 ws is 22.5 and v2 is 14.5 cc and unit weight of water is 1 so this gives me the value of shrinkage ratio as 1.55 so this is how you can find the shrinkage limit specific gravity of solids and shrinkage ratio using the direct formulas now let's try to find the same values using the phase diagram of the soil you can see the phase diagram of this soil for the saturated state and the dry state. Okay, so left hand side values, these are volume in cubic centimeters and right hand side values are the weight in grams for both saturated state as well as the dry state. Okay, so to find the shrinkage limit, we have to find the weight of water that would fill in the void volume in figure B. Okay, so we have to find the weight of water that will fill in this void volume, which is marked by A. First, weight of water at stage A. Okay, so how much water initially the soil had. 
so this is total weight of soil okay weight of saturated soil which is 32.8 minus weight of the dried soil which is 22.5 so this gives me the weight of soil weight of water at stage a as 10.3 grams which is shown here okay 10.3 grams is the weight of water in stage a now we have to find the weight of uh, water that will fill the void volume in stage b that is in the dry state so weight of water at stage b this is equal to total weight of water in stage uh, a that is in saturated state which is 10.3 minus weight of water okay which is in this portion in state b okay this weight of water above this dashed line in stage a so this is equal to total volume of soil which is 20 minus volume of soil in stage uh, dry state that is state b which is 14.5 so we will be remaining this much portion of volume which is 5.5 and if you multiply this portion of volume with the unit weight of water so you will get the weight of water in this much portion okay which is above this dashed line in state a so it will be 10.3 minus 20 minus 14.5 into gamma w so this will be 10.3 minus 5.5 into 1 which is equal 4.8 grams so 4.8 grams is the weight of water that will fill uh, this void volume in dry state after finding this uh, after finding this uh, weight of water you can find the shrinkage limit so shrinkage limit is the water content corresponding to figure b so shrinkage uh, limit this will be simply weight of water in this wide volume which is 4.8 divided by weight of the solids in dry state which is 22.5 into 100 and this will be equal to 21.33 percent which is same as before which we found out by using the direct formulas okay after that we have to find the after finding this uh, shrinkage limit now we have to find the specific gravity of the solids so specific gravity of the solids this is uh, defined as the ratio of the weight of given volume of solids to the weight of an equivalent volume of water okay so weight of a given volume of solids divided by weight of an equivalent volume of water so it will be ws divided by vs into gamma w ws is the weight of solids in dry state vs is the volume of solids and gamma w is the unit weight of water ws we already know this is equal to 22.5 grams we have to find the volume of this so uh, the volume of this solid portion in dry state so this will be equal to total volume which is 20 okay total volume which is 20 minus volume of this portion which is the volume of volume occupied by water so it will be weight of water divided by the unit weight of uh, water which will give you the volume of the water so if you subtract from total volume the volume of the water you will get the volume of the solids so total 20 is the total volume and from this if you subtract the volume of water you will get the volume of solids which is 9.7 cubic centimeters so specific gravity this will be the weight of solids okay which is 22.5 grams divided by volume of solids which is 9.7 and multiplied it with unit weight of water which is 1 so this will be equal to 2.32 will be the specific gravity of solids which we calculated earlier okay so this is same as the value which we got earlier by using the direct formulas so shrinkage ratio this is simply given by the dry unit weight divided by unit weight of water so it will be dry unit weight this will be uh, ws divided by vs ws is the 22.5 and vs is the total volume of the uh, 
total volume of the soil in dry state okay not the volume of solid it is the total volume total volume is 14.5 so it will be 22.5 divided by 14.5 divided by 1 which is the unit weight of water this will give me the shrinkage ratio which is 1.55 which is same as calculated earlier so this is how you can calculate the value of shrinkage limit specific gravity of solid and shrinkage ratio from the uh, form from the formula as well as from the phase diagram of the soil i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new from this video if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned